Hi, I'm Blake, President of Master Wholesale. Today, we're here to discuss which one of these three blades is the best porcelain blade on the market today. Um, one thing about porcelain blades is they have a softer diamond matrix, so uh, a good porcelain blade isn't gonna last as long as a regular blade, but it will cut your porcelain cleaner and faster than a regular blade. Today, we're gonna talk about uh, porcelain blades. Um, some of the things we look at is the height of the diamond. The more diamond you have, the longer the blade's gonna last, how thick the core is, and how much uh, flex there is in the blade. And then we're gonna put these uh, blades on the saw and cut and see which one does the best job. Master Wholesale Porcelain Blade. This blade's made in Japan, it's very high quality. Um, it's got a 0.39 diamond height, which is really good. Um, it's also a little bit thicker core. Doesn't have a lot of flex, which, uh, you know, flex when cutting hard material is a bad thing. So I got the Master Wholesale blade all mounted up here ready to go. I'll go ahead and see how she cuts. The next blade we're looking at is the uh, Razor. It comes out of the box with a .30 diamond height, um, which is less than the others. It's made in Korea. Um, but the one thing about this blade is it has a thicker core in the center, if you can see that right here, which makes the blade have almost no flex while on the outer side having a thinner blade than the others, which some think makes it cut cleaner and faster. We're gonna put it on the saw and find out if that's true. So you can uh, see how long each cut takes. We're gonna make one cut 24 inches long and uh, see how fast and how well it cuts and how you know much chipping we get. So the next blade we're gonna talk about is the Alpha Blade, also made in Japan. Comes out of the box with a 0.43 diamond height, which is exceptional. Um, the blade is uh, got a thicker core, almost no flex at all, which is really good. So let's go ahead and put it on the saw and see how well it cuts. Okay, so we have the Alpha Blade in the saw, ready to cut. We'll go ahead and see how she performs. So the Alpha Blade, again, cut real straight, um, and as you can see, there was a little bit of chipping here, but uh, overall speed and straight cut is good. I would say it's pretty close to being about the same as the uh, T3 Razor in the, in the fact as, uh, you know, in the amount of chipping that's going on here, but maybe not quite as fast cutting. So we're looking at the cut here made by the T3 Razor. Um, it's a nice straight cut. Um, we used a porcelain tile that is glazed. The glazing will kind of show off any chipping um, or highlight any chipping that we have. As you can see, um, when we get down here, there, there's a little bit of chipping right, right through here. Other than that, the blade seemed to cut real straight and uh, pretty smooth overall, but was a little bit of chipping on the edge. So the Master Wholesale blade, as you can see, had quite a bit less chipping than the other blades. Uh, although it did have a little bit chipping right here. We like to um, just point out the fact again that this is a glazed porcelain, so any you know chips are gonna show up. I wanna say before I announce the winner of uh, this particular shootout is that um, two of these blades are strictly made for cutting porcelain, um, the Alpha and the Master Wholesale blade. But these two blades you would not want to use uh, you know, on softer material, they'll gum them up and ruin them, make them cut slow or not at all. Um, the razor can be used on uh, multiple different surfaces, so that, you know, maybe makes this one a little bit more valuable. Um, so at the end of the day, um, if you're about cutting fast and um, getting the job done quickly, the razor is definitely the fastest and can also be used with um, other materials. Um, the Master Wholesale Porcelain Blade, if you're about the quality of cut in terms of no chipping, this is the best blade. The Alpha was a close second behind the Master Wholesale Blade, but it was uh, you know, a little bit slower cutting than the Razor and not as clean as cutting as the uh, Porcelain uh, Master Wholesale Blade. So if you're about cutting fast, the winner would be the Razor. If you're about clean, 
cutting in the terms of hardly any chipping, the Master Wholesale Blade would be your choice. So, hope that uh, gives you some information you can use.